Hey everybody, good to be with you on a Friday. Thank you for joining us for our daily reflection. So today, I just wanted to walk through some of the highlights from the series on Ruth since we finished it up last Sunday. And uh, what I wanna do is just to ask you to ask God what he wants you to notice as we rehearse these truths. What truth would he still like for you to put into practice, to act on today in a way that, you know, some of your relationships, could be transformed or your walk with God could be transformed. There's some meaningful way that he would want to use one of these truths in your life today. And so as I pray, would you ask God to show you what he wants you to see? Father, I pray in Jesus name that you will guide us by your spirit. Help us to see the truth that you want us to apply to our lives even today. And in doing so in that small act of obedience, you would do something significant in our hearts. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. So here we go. In week one, we talked about loyalty and how my loyalty to God is the path for me to encounter God's loyalty toward me. Um, we talked about what loyalty looks like, uh, strength in embracing our circumstances, choosing joy no matter what we're facing, forgiving someone, and having strength to resist temptation. That's what loyalty to God may look like in our lives. Then in the second week, we talked about seeking refuge by doing what is right, not what is easy. And so uh, that was awesome. We talked about bringing healing to bitterness. We talked about the eight evidences of bitterness in our lives. And you remember those difficulty in resolving conflict, acting in revenge, outbursts of anger, and there are five more. We talked about bitterness and how it crowds out our joy and uh, it darkens our perspective on our situation and on our life even, and how it robs us of love. It robs um, us in being able to share uh, love for other people. And we said that seeking refuge is by acting and taking initiative. Um, taking initiative right where you are, whatever your circumstances are. Trusting God that no matter what you face, he has a plan. And so seeking refuge in those ways. Then on the third week, we said that God has resolved to create something special, something amazing in our lives, in our ordinary lives, as we draw near to him. Are you the person that God wants you to be? We have a kinsman redeemer in Jesus. And so we need to sit at his feet the way that Ruth lay at the feet of Boaz, the way that Mary sat at the feet of Jesus. We, need to, we have a kinsman redeemer, and we need to place ourselves at his feet. Um, character is revealed through the decisions that we make. Are you becoming the person that God wants you to be? And then in the, uh, last week, last week uh, with uh, Jared, we said that no matter what chapter of life you're in, when you put your hope in God, the best is yet to come. And so I just wanna encourage you, what do these thoughts mean to you today? How do they intersect with your circumstances? What can you apply um, today or do uh, to put that truth into action in your everyday life? See, literally dozens of ways to act on these biblical truths from this book of Ruth. And so I just want to remind you what James said in chapter 1, beginning in verse 22. He said, But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. And so I want us to be doers who act. What is that truth that came out of the book of Ruth that God still wants you to put into practice in your own life today? Let's pray together. Father, I commit this to, uh, to you, uh, praying for myself and my friends, that you will help us to be doers who act doers of the Word of God. These wonderful truths from the story of Ruth, from the book of Ruth, Lord, they can transform our lives as we seek refuge in, in you, as we allow you to shape our ordinary lives. 
Um, these things can make a difference. And so um, speak to our hearts about what we can do today to follow your word. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, it's going to be great to be with you this weekend. I hope to see you um, on Sunday uh, here at the Centerville campus or all the other campus pastors at their place. Um, let's, let's worship God together. We are better together. Have a great day.